Dozens of teams are getting ready to walk for ALS this morning. 10 TV's Karina Nova is ser serving as the event's host and sat down with a participant about why he's pushing so hard to find a cure for the disease. The walk to defeat ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, kicks off in just a couple of hours. And joining us this morning is the Walk City Chair, Jared McEwen. Thanks for being here, along with Elliot and Debbie Boxerbaum. Thank you for joining us this morning. Now, uh, Debbie, I want to start with you because your husband was diagnosed with ALS. When was he diagnosed and how has it impacted your life? Well, he was diagnosed about a year ago, and uh, although we've been at these symptoms, dealing with these symptoms for um, two to two and a half years, mm -hmm. it takes a while to get the diagnosis. So, um, you know, this isn't what we had planned in our retirement, um, but uh, we are dealing with each symptom as it comes, mm -hmm. and um, we're strong people, so we're working together as a team. You've had to change things in your life, what you Many can do, things. what you can't do. Give me some examples. Gosh, Elliot can't um, swallow very well to eat, so mm -hmm. we don't go out to restaurants as much as we used to. Mm -hmm. um, communication takes a little longer because he uses a communication device to type and speak to me and mm -hmm. to others. Right. And so um, everything is kind of slower, much slower pace. Elliot, um, I know you lost your ability to speak because of ALS, and I wanted to ask you, um, how has this impacted your life? Uh, I know you prepared an answer to tell us using your speech device. ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, is a horrendous disease that traps or locks people in their bodies as they lose the ability to use their legs, arms, hands, and eventually the ability to speak, mm -hmm. swallow, and breathe. I am blessed. Okay, well, thank you for uh, sharing that with us. And we want to talk about the walk that's happening on Sunday because that is one of the ways that people can kind of learn a little bit more about ALS and how they can uh, benefit from it, help out others. So, Jared, talk a little bit about the walk. Yeah, the walk is uh, today. Uh, registration starts at 9.30. Mm -hmm. uh, the walk itself kicks off at 11 o'clock. Um, it's our largest annual event. Um, we couldn't do the things that we do within the local chapter without the fundraising efforts. Um, it, the, the, the local chapter provides so many um, things to us, lo equipment loan program, um, patient care services, mm -hmm. um, in and out of the home, and uh, just additional support for the family and, and the members. Um, I, I Unfortunately, my mom was diagnosed with ALS. and. Mm -hmm passed away three years ago and that's how I got involved and uh, I just encourage you to come out and um, be a beautiful day it always is and um, um, look forward to seeing you there. Alright and where is it again? It's at Fred Beekman Park and um, it's it's always a beautiful uh, venue. Okay and thank you I'm excited to help you kick <laughs> off the walk so thank you so much for being here educating us a little bit more about ALS and uh, we'll see you at the walk 11 o'clock today.